At the end of the world I write this paragraph, to be the last for Realm of Arcadia. They fought valiantly against this end, but they are powerless before the fate set by Kronos. The sands of time have run many times since these events were set in motion, and none who took part in the downfall of Arcadia was left unchanged. Ah, an observer. At a time like this, your appearance is surely not a coincidence. I will show you what transpired, but for you to understand the whole story, you must experience it yourself. This I can tell, though. It is a tragic tale of two eternal souls. It began on a dark and stormy night, and all within a lost realm. He said he would meet us here. <laughs> Is it really you, Mesmerath, old friend? When I got the message, I could not believe it was from you. He should not suffer because of my mistake. This child is for you to raise, Master Mayfair. Take good care of him. Retrieve a lockbox, stolen from me many years ago by pirates. Its contents are vital for your knighthood. Good luck, Master Mayfair.
A knight in training has arrived. I hope your trip went well. Did you find what I asked for? Good. Now, let's head home. You must be hungry. Let's eat, and you can tell me all about your adventure. When you become a knight, the contents of this box will be yours, son. Lucky for you, those pirates never got the lockbox open. <laughs> okay, let's go through here. It's a beautiful day, and people want to spend it outside. It hasn't been this warm for weeks. Jen has been anxious to see you return. He was a little worried about you, to be honest. There he is. Say hi to him and come back to me. Hey, you're back. I'm glad you've returned safely. It was your first adventure alone, after all. And here you are, unharmed. We have every reason to celebrate tonight. Ah, here we are. Home sweet home. You've only been gone for a couple of days, but it might be a good idea to hone your skills against the training dummy while I prepare some food. Sit down when you're ready to eat. Well, have a seat. Master Mayfair's cooking is still hot. Wouldn't mind having a bite myself. Huh? 
Look who finally woke up. It is your big day, boy. Hurry to the tower in the forest. Master Mayfair has a surprise for you. If you get lost, take a look at the yellow symbol on your map. You know, the day you've been training for. I will come too. Don't forget to stock up at the vending machine near Lori's Inn. I'm off. See you later.
It feels just like yesterday that we came here to have a picnic, and I carried you home on my shoulders. Today, you're going to have to walk back on your own. Okay, we need to find a way to open the door to the tower. I don't know why Master Mayfair closed it in the first place. He's waiting for us inside. I think I can help you with this one. If only walls could talk. This place is sturdy for hundreds of years, if not longer.
Set back. Okay, let's continue. Arcadian soldiers were stationed here, but that was during the Direfolk War, over 20 years ago. never noticed this room before. there. You came back safe from your trip to Outcast Island and fulfilled your mission. You have finished your training, son. What could be a better stage for your grand moment than one of the famous beacons? This structure was not made by Arcadians. Beacons are much older, remnants of the world's unknown past. 
for centuries, this beacon has been a shelter for travelers, a lookout for commanders, and now simply a landmark for a remote town. Follow me. I want to give you something. You have lived during the time of peace, but it wasn't that long ago when we fought in the dire folk war in the Outlands. I was there when the war ended at the Riskborn Citadel. Inside a dark hall, we saw the creature behind the war, Shadow Maga. Its face was hidden behind a horned mask. My fellow knights, Sir Corbin and I, did not stand a chance against the creature, but a young warlock who was with us possessed the power of magic. Even in the heat of the battle, he was able to concentrate on a difficult spell and defeat Shadow Maga. The only thing left of Shadow Maga was its mask. The young warlock picked it up and fitted it over his face. At that time, he took the name of Mesmeroth. I owe my life to that man. People celebrated us as war heroes, but it was Mesmeroth who ended the war, and people glorified him for that. Here, I want you to have this. It is my old caster. You are a knight now, but it is not always an easy path to follow. Remember that to live the life of a knight is to protect and serve the kingdom. Follow your heart in all your decisions. Your new caster gun was created by the best Arcadian mages. If you gather enough different materials, your caster gun can create spells. Try it out. There should be enough useful material lying around. Give it a shot. can reach my house from here. Find a way to get that gate open. You can do it with your caster gun.
sky. Let's take a better look from the top of my house. Airship and its pilot. It looks like she's crashed into Warden Woods. You've got to save her. Take the shortcut behind my hut and hurry! to shoot down those spiky plants with your new fire spell.
Hey, why did you interfere? I was having a nice streak. You haven't seen a lot of action, have you? I am Trin, from Mechanical Assault and Reconnaissance. I can't believe what those bolt heads did to my yellow bird. Hey, you came from Arna Village, right? I desperately need to find Master Mayfair. Do you know his whereabouts? Can you take me to him? Okay, I hope you know the way. Oh boy, we are far away from the White City. But I like it. Ah, is that a warden head? I've seen one just like it somewhere else. Watch out for that Scarabara. Is that a real caster gun? Those things are extremely rare. They stopped manufacturing them after the Mage Guild left the White City. I didn't see this one coming, but we dealt with it. Nobody here. Maybe the townspeople saw them coming and, and hid? Is there a place where they could be hiding? That sounds like a good hiding place. Come on, let's go. Find Master Mayfair. We should keep out of sight as much as possible. They're not friendly, trust me. If the situation gets ugly, we should fight together. Don't hesitate to call on me if you need help. Hey, is that a bomb hut? Spider bot. Just make sure they don't see you. I am a master of sneaking. Basically invisible to them. Seriously.
their armor, dark as their hearts. I knew it was you. Thank the gods you're safe. Son, let me introduce you to Trinity, the granddaughter of Grand Regent Archimedes, the leader of Arcadia. Please, Master Mayfair, don't call me that. Is everyone okay? Right after your airship crashed, we saw those dropships coming and were able to escape to the caves. I'm sure they won't find us here. Those dark troopers were looking for me. I, uh, was spying on them earlier in the Outlands. I have never seen anything like this. The weapons and technology these troops possess boggles my mind. Who could be behind this? There is someone, but no. It cannot be him. I saw a whole army out there in the Outlands. Ships loaded with troopers and airships. An invasion force. This is even more serious than I thought. We must head to the White City and tell the Knight's Order about this dark army. How can we get out of here? A boat would be an easy target for those airships. And how do we make sure the villagers are safe? Well, you don't have to worry about the villagers. They are tough and they will be safe here. But listen carefully. I've come up with a plan. I have a hover bike. Taurus One, hidden in the old warehouse on the other side of the town. It will carry two people. You and Trin will take the hoverbike and drive through the town and distract the enemy while I escape with Jen through Warden Woods. We will meet you at the old high road campsite. Is that clear? She is the granddaughter of Grand Regent Archimedes himself, so make sure she is safe. Thank <laughs> you.